I was born in 1941, and I was a sickly child. Indeed, I still am. And apparently, when they saw me, there was no chance that I'd survive at all. But my mother fostered me out, because times were tough in County Limerick. They sent me to my grandmother's house, and I was reared more or less by my granny, Mrs. Halpin, who was a native Irish speaker. She never spoke the language to us children, my mother and uncles and aunts, never. She spoke to her cronies who would come visiting at night, play cards and dance and all that. But my spot was up on the, the loft. So I was listening, of course, and I was just picking it up. You know, I wasn't aware it was a different language. When I went back to Newcastle West to go to school, I didn't know the difference between the languages until I was told at school when they taught me about on Tishil Ginniduk and on Tishil Tauruk and all these yokes that I could never figure out anyway, not even today. But I had, the word insight is a bit highfalutin, but I had that knowledge that the language was, was a, lang a viable living language. In my vocal log, Fado, Fado, Dame she is Ned, in a Gaelic clue for Foster, is he the scribe? Derek Sheed is tooling a reached a muck, so I'm savi mink clove, so vonir fluk. Me a gunnami, a gig cream no carn clock. A untus crua na vrashir, egg buller fui mocked. Then in law, a holing cared a alien omos, his dog, a nigna, forba orb, na lysak force. Granny, well, the baby runs landed on my chest and she said to me in English, Aha, you're going to be a poet. Yes, and Tom she knew she knew a shack. You scream my focal, could you give me a quid of the for a cadog? But we in Catechy. The story not talking on Glare in Tia and Changavan, Nyan, in the story of Dagan and Glare Tia. Stone got a good one, Goyer, Fergine, and Diffrulo, you know. I was in the middle of the Michael Dardier, Ta Ilgenehert, Ilgenehert, and Goyer Tiger, my dear, for Tashiana Special, you know. As Philly, I mean, they're dead here off of, I mean, Tashi will rot you, you know, which had made sheer such traditional as much as Philly. Lawn, Cock Coim, Lesson Mosomo, a Michael Homa. So, um, I mean, it's a girl who fragged the hell of it, Tasha, and I'm not talking about anything. Mm -hmm. I remember I had a girl who was in the temple, with a shakta no machine. Ben, on a girl, by I guess we, 19th century woman, he didn't. She never came to terms with the 20th century. Redeemer, Terefish, Radio. Electricity beyond her kin entirely. The Kailaki Milanaga, Shaskahuid, no Shaskshainish, an oka, an oka three in this ago. After the squeeze, dawn, Copla, no three dawn, iri. They shall count the squeeze, Asperla, they say, until the time now, death of an Irish woman. Ignorant in the sense she ate monotonous food and thought the world was flat. And pagan in the sense she knew the things that moved at night were neither dogs nor cats, but pukas and dark-faced men. She nevertheless had fierce pride. But sentenced in the end to eat thin, diminishing porridge in a stone-cold kitchen, she clenched her brittle hands around the world she could not understand. I loved her from the day she died. She was a summer dance at the crossroads. She was a card game where a nose was broken. She was a song that nobody sings. She was a house ransacked by soldiers. She was a language seldom spoken. She was a child's purse full of useless things. And to explain a few things in the poem, card games, this house was a rambling house, lots of card games went on there. She used to sing and the house was often Wrecked, not this house actually, the original house which was across the road by the Black and Tans because my grandfather was in the area, Michael Halpin. 
She was a language seldom spoken, of course, she spoke Irish. And I say she was a child's purse full of useless things. In other words, what she had accumulated from the 19th century was no longer any use in the island. She lived, she lived in the 20th century for almost 60 years, and in the 19th century for 30 years. Which, but, uh, I mean, my guilt, my attitude, I was in Morocco when she died. I wasn't even at her funeral. One line sums up the entire poem. I loved her from the day she died. That's an, apolo that's an apology. All the rest of us all.